In Malaysia, there are 100,000 units of houses been built annually. Housing development has increased the constructions of water pipeline. Various kind of dirts exist in the pipeline, they are mostly originated from the pipeline leakage. Currently, there are a few methods to clean up the pipeline such as the air scouring method, picking or swabbing, and water jetting method. But, actually they are less efficient and less environmental friendly. Water that supplied to us daily might not actually be clean. It may contain bacteria that are harmful to us. Normally, the authority clean up the viruses with chlorine. However, excessive consumption of chlorine may cause various diseases. Cavi is a wall press pipeline robot. It has flexible linkages to press on the inner wall of the pipeline and hold itself in position. The ultrasonic transducers are installed in front of the robot, to perform cleaning in the pipeline. The lead screw is attached with motor to control the expansion of the linkages. The propeller is designed, and it's been attached to the thruster motor, to move the robot forward and backward. Now we may proceed to the demonstration on how the robot is going to function. The robot will retract fully before entering the pipeline. When it is going to clean the pipeline, it will expand until it touches the inner wall of the pipeline. When it holds in position, the ultrasonic sound wave is emitted to perform the cleaning. After the cleaning has been done, the robot will retract, and continue its movement. Ultrasonic sound wave will induce cavitations, the bubbles will grow bigger, and then implode. The implosion will exert pressure on the dirt's particle and loosen it from the surface. At the same time, ultrasonic sound wave is able to inactivate the pathogens, and deagglomerate the bacterial cluster through this cavitation. Cleaning the pipeline by using the ultrasonic sound wave will be more environmental friendly, and it can replace the chlorination process. Mario from National Instrument has been used as the controller, to control the actuators, and as the data acquisition device to acquire the sensor's data. Mario will be programmed and integrated with NILabView, which will be an interface, to control the robot.